Hey guys, what is up? It is me, JBDPR1 here back again, and today, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be showing a route, and that is something that is pretty unexpected. Another tutorial. When was the last time I did that? Like nearly a year ago or something? But yeah, here it is, the village stage tutorial that I actually wanted to do for a long time. But I held back on trying to make it because I was trying to develop a new strat that I think now I've actually managed to pull off. So here it is. This is going to be it. Yeah, this is really just going to be it. And well, this strat actually does work with most of the characters. I'm only going to use this with Wesker because Wesker tends to have exclusive ammo that can't be found by drops, so I'm just going to be using that for here. And it basically just involves getting the ammo from the that house right there to this cow shed and to the house that's all the way over there in the distance. But it's just going to revolve around that. Now, it does also work for Ada since she does get rifle, uh, rifle, no. Wesker gets magnum ammo, but Ada gets rifle ammo, so. It's just going to be like the same thing, but with Krauser, you don't need to really worry since they are optional. For I would say it kind of also works for Leon. If you want to get your shotgun shells early, then you could also do the strap, but this is just going to be the basis for it. And so let's just get into basis. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you always spawn in this area right here, where the Bendis Manor is. So you always want to make sure because that's where you get your first timer that's all the way in the distance right there. Then that's how you could get that. You don't have to worry about going back. So let's just get in play for just example sake. So you can always get that timer and then you can always go here. And this doing this also happens to be one of the best ways to get like consistently 20 kills every time on your first bonus um bonus multiplier so it's kind of like the best thing that you could do i'm just gonna get rid of that flash grenade since they don't really do it justice in this gameplay but here we go and so it's already six and there's your first rifle ammo magnum ammo The second one would involve us going through here and then out here a bit. Right. Oh, that would have been at least 20, but that didn't work out. The second one would be right here. Go to get some more stuff here and throw the thing down there if you want to get it. And then you're last magnum ammo is found there and because we do have the magnum ammo and we're not trying to really use it what we could do is we could actually save it for later so we're gonna just keep it we're only gonna use the handgun at this part are gonna be rough but if crits are lucky you can actually go down pretty quickly you always want to make sure you shoot at the feet before you go because so then they can always fall to the ground and then you can always you know, get your kills from there then when it goes to that you always want to go here and that's where leaving some of the stuff here comes into play so then you can actually just get some of the stuff and you go back here here. And now because we actually did spawn most of the, the or we did spawn all of the Bayo sisters, you only need 40 kills for that. Get a start. And that one is really stuck. In that one. Okay. That was honestly a weird one right there, so. Could just kill quickly. Okay. 
Well, she did die. But we're gonna have to restart. Not restart like the game, but more like the route area because we do still have Magnum ammo and we're trying to get rid of all of the Magnum cases. Or so then we can actually have enough room. So, after that, you want to just make sure that you have all your stuff. And then for now, this is where grenades also come into play as well. Because even though they are really nerfed, you still can't make like the best use of them by just having them fall. It does take time though. But, okay, since we are going to restart the... Now, or not really restart, but now we're actually starting the loop. What we are going to do is when you want to go for that one, you want to make sure you run through that cow shed. Grab your timer. And see, so we, got, we got like four, four minutes to start. Just for safety precautions, because you don't know if you restart the route or not. And this is where the actual loop begins now. So this is where it would begin. Okay, we could actually start getting rid of these grenades and then this. And we do have our rifle. No way, that's two fighters. So you always want to loop around here. Go to here. Sure, you make it past this area again, then up here, and you can actually run out here if you want to, just to get some ammo. Then you always want to make sure you cross here. Just to make sure that you get some of your stuff. Now this part is one of the more easier ones, you don't really need to worry about. Actually, you can just go down to please. Okay, now this is where the second one goes into place. One of the more easier ones, but... Right, that one was a very fortunate uh, spawn right there, since... Really wasn't expecting him to appear. Okay, and because we do have all of the timers used, we can actually just use the rifle to our heart's content. So just yeah, go out with the rifle. If you can, because I might run them out. But actually, I still got a bunch of shots to utilize here. It feels so weird because I know I don't gotta reload that much, but my mind just dicks to reloading like if I actually need to. That's the thing with like the rifle though, so as long as you're able to damage some enemies, then it ten you can technically like you know be effective. Okay, goes through here. And back. back. Here again. Now I am gonna have to start picking up some of the ammo because it is getting annoying that I'm running out oh especially the fact that I got a bunch of grenades I gotta use all of that that's the thing I'm just gonna get rid of the incendiary since I don't really need to use those but I do find myself using I see myself using
Yo, I think we might have enough time to just get 80 or 90. As long as I'm, yeah, well, lucky with... Rifle, I'm kind of tensing up here a bit. It's just like, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, maybe that works because I just got 300. Oh, okay. Um, that one, that one feels so weird, but yes, it is possible to at least get 300. I was trying my best, but yeah, it is possible, in fact. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not just going to do that, but to at least show how effective it is. We are gonna at least play as Krauser. So then we could <laughs> at least get a gist of how how effective it would be, but oh god, I, I felt shaken, but you know, we're just gonna do it like this. We're not really gonna too much. This is the weirdest one. I was not really expecting that to happen. Gonna ignore the arrows. Just gonna look here. Now, by this time, you actually do get there. So at least spawns aren't broken as hell. Now you do want to make sure you could go back there because sometimes there is a chance that uh, that a Ganado would not actually be alerted, so he would just always try to. Okay, so you always want to go in here after you go in back there, and you always want to. Make sure. Okay. Now you always want to make sure you're going here just so then you get some stuff. There is a good chance that um, Ganado will spawn in there. Now once you get there, you feel free to go back here and start the route. Oh, we still gotta kill these guys. So. There we go. So all of them are dead. Now the spawns are kind of free now. Let's we'll start seeing them spawn. I'm s I'm a bit shaken from the fact that I did. <laughs> yeah, I'll admit I'm not really performing at my best. Now, I think if to keep it at a more consistent rate, you could just go through there and then pass through there. That did not make sense, I just realized. Sorry, it's just, I'm so shaken after that 300k scoring. Like, because of just how I didn't know it would be possible to break 
break it, but... Okay. Come on, I gotta put my game face on. I gotta do this and show how to play. I, yeah, you always want to go there, and then so then you can just cross it. When you're out of that line, if you see that gray line, then that's probably, yeah, that's the area that you're always going to have to make sure that you don't cross too much. I uh, maybe move forward a bit while you could shoot. Come on, I shouldn't be this nervous. <laughs> I, I really shouldn't. I apologize for yeah, being nervous. I think for this one, I could also change it so you don't really have to kill them. You could just walk back here. But the thing is, by the time you actually do walk here, there's this guy. Right there. uh, oh. oh, really? Okay. No, you just come there. Okay, there's a bunch of. I guess. Now I wonder how different the time is for this one because yeah I'm not really performing at my best in fact I might score low It's, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you're going out on that area. I would change it, so... Because there's times where enemies do die over here. But... You're not really passing the spawn line for that specific area, so I would probably... Oh, come on. I would probably change it, so... I'm so shaking, oh my god. I think I just used up all of my game energy. That one, <laughs> that one game. I think I used it all during that one game, but whatever. Fourteen shots. I don't know. I think I could get like twenty. Right again, I'm still testing out certain shit, so I guess I will update it because yeah. Yeah, but that's just pretty much it. That was not my best game, but oh, fuck, that got really anxious. It really did because yeah, and that's yeah. But I think I used up all of my freaking energy for that one game. But that's just about like the strat so far. Actually, you know what? Matter of fact, I will like do this again just to at least try to 
be helpful in a bit. I'll probably make another video before I play Kill Rush, but anyways, that's about it, really. So, see ya. Yeah.